As a teenager, I had almost everything on my mind besides God. Sports was my main focus. Being number one was the name that I believed I deserved. But God had another plan in my life. Through Christ, I was able to find a new identity as a child of God. And now I am able to play an important role on the team of Christ. I have learned that food should not be my main way of coping with my problems. When I was worried, stressed, and overwhelmed, my first go-to was food. But in the end, I was still empty, even though I was full. Now that my identity is in Christ, I don't have to turn to food to make me feel better. I can talk to Him, lay down my burdens, and feel His peace all around me. Player, flirt, heartbreaker, those are all the labels that people threw at me, that they defined me by. But that's not what I see in myself. That's not what God sees me as. Through God, I have a new identity, an identity in Christ that gives my life new meaning, new purpose, because I am His Son, and He is my Father. I kind of grew up on my own, you know, Miss Independent. No authority watching me, mm-hmm. No one telling me what to do. So I became the authority. I made my own rules. But then I encountered a different kind of authority. This one was loving. I surrendered and accepted Jesus Christ into my life. Now I am a child of the living God. Cell phones, Facebook, Instagram, all that media stuff had a grip on my life. I would wake up in the morning with my phone in my hand and fall asleep to the sound of a movie. By accepting Christ, I was delivered for free 99. I was added to the plan that gives me unlimited connection to the living God. I now have a hot spot for Christ and can call my father early in the morning and late at night. Growing up, my family had enough money, but that was it. We had just enough. My family wasn't big, nor was it small. We weren't struggling, but we weren't living in the lap of luxury. But for me, it wasn't enough. I always seemed to want more. As time went by, this became a constant pattern in my life. By then, my life was already set in stone. I worked and worked to the point of no social life and a total denial of all love. Money was love. I was wrong. My life meant nothing until I found out that God is the real love in my life.